another topic I wanted to go on about was just Saka and Martinelli. And for me, these guys are both 21 year olds. And as I was saying uh, previously, I think I said it a few weeks on the timeline where I said, like, these guys are both on 10 plus goals. Um, Saka at the moment is on 10, Martinelli I know is on, is on 12. They're both, what, 21 year olds. And it's not like we're just winning games five new here, six new here, seven new here, four new here. You know, it's not like we're doing that. We're having to win certain games where we're scoring one goal, two goals. I mean, sometimes we're scoring three goals, but they're gonna they're being the ones that's scoring maybe the first or the second goals and stuff like that. So we have two 21 year olds who are scoring crucial goals, clutch goals at the age of 21 in a title winning season. I mean, all goals are not weighted the same, you know, all goals aren't weighted the same. It's it's different. Like when you're scoring crucial goals, like you can have ten crucial goals and someone can have twenty goals and and it does it doesn't add up, you know what I mean? Like but when you're scoring crucial goals every single time, like you're scoring the first goal, you're scoring the second goal, the goal to, to um put us on a leader, the goal to get an equalizer, just stuff like that, just really important goals at the age of twenty one. That's what that's what the meaning of clutch is. That's what these two we have two very clutch guys this season and they're just twenty one years old and they're leading the team in terms of like chasing the title. So it's it's crucial to be able to like um like it's very like it's very important like what, what what these guys are offering, and it's very important as well that we're sharing the goals around as well because Odegaard also has um, ten goals as well, and he's relatively young, twenty four year old, um, attacking midfield, and he's already on ten goals in a title winning season as well. So you have to give credit to a lot of these guys because they're very young, but they're all scoring crucial goals. I mean, I think I think it's possible that we even end the season having four or five guys on ten plus goals because overall this season Trossard is on eight, um, Gabriel Jesus is on five. So that's another, that's two other guys who can join them and give us maybe four or five guys who scored ten plus goals, and I think is um, it's been a key part of the way we've been playing this season, um, simply because of also because of how we play and also the strikers that we have. When you think about Gabriel Jesus this season, the first half of the season, he got what five goals and five assists, um, and you think about um, like his role in the team. It's not just to score goals; it's also to play to create chances for others, drop into to deep areas, go into the wide areas, switch positions, rotate with other players and create situations for everyone around him. And because of the way he roams around and moves around, he's therefore creating space for others to exploit and attack. He's not a striker who's just there waiting to just be given a chance or waiting to just be fed. He's, sorry, he's a striker that's also feeding other people as well, which is why he's got five goals and five assists in the first half of the season. And then you look at Trossard, who's now playing a similar role, and he also has one goal and five assists. So you can see that... Um, when you see our strikers having five plus assists, it tells you and it lets you know what kind of role they're playing up front and the re and what why they're so important and what Arteta's asking of them. They, he's not just wanting them just to be inside the box to be chasing goals. He actually wants them in the wide areas, in the central areas, drifting, creating situation, rotating with others, and creating chances for other people. And if you look at Gabriel Jesus, as I mentioned already, coming onto the pitch and creating chances already, obviously he misses on chance, but create chances for others as well. So that's a crucial part on. Um, that we're seeing up front as our strikers, but it's something that we'll have to look at going um going forward as well um into previous seasons. I think the last time we did something like this was with Giroud um in 12-13 where we had him up front and he was obviously we know he was someone who Wenger liked because of the way he brought others into play. And he we saw Giroud get 10 plus, Walker get 10 plus, Cazolo as well, and Podolski. That was the, the last time we had four players scoring 10 plus goals in a league season. And we're seeing that again this season as well, where we have three players already with 10 plus goals. And we can possibly end the season with four or five players with 10 plus goals already. So I think it's crucial um, to our system and it's crucial to the way we play, having multiple, multiple scorers. Um, in, in, in this kind of sense because again it makes us unpredictable and it allows us to be able to like um if a, if a guy is not in form but he's still playing well then he can still get a goal and one important thing as well you remember is that yeah it puts um a lot of responsibility on all five attackers that we have in, te in terms of we don't have anybody who was just up front just to be scoring goals or just to be fed Every single player has other stuff that they're doing outside of goals. Martelli in the wide area is stretching the pitch. The same with Saka. They're also um, required to be creative, required to stretch the pitch, required to rotate with the players on the inside at the same time as well. So, and you have the striker who, yes, he's there to score goals, but at the same time, he's also there to rotate with others, drift on deep, drift wide, create situation for others, as well as the two midfielders in Jacques and Odegaard. They're there to receive the ball from our midfielders. Obviously, as I've mentioned before, you have the three centre-backs and the two midfielders in Partey and Zinchenko who are releasing the ball into the final field for these guys. They're there to to be the guys who are stood behind the opposition's line to be able to exploit them, attack the box, creates chances for others. But at the same time, they're also getting goals. The Odegaard of 10 goals and Xhaka with, I think Xhaka's got three goals and five assists. So I think that's been something that's been, that's been, uh, it's been crucial this season with the way we've been able to distribute the goals 
throughout the whole team and we have send back scoring goals and it's just it's just a testament to how um our system is and how our system is not just relying on just one goal scorer but going forward i still feel like we need to add more more um guys into the first team that can create more goal contributions i think um at left wing that's somewhere that we can also improve where we can add another another goal scorer as well and then i think in um in the left center mid in the jackets position again add another person who's more natural in terms of creating goal scoring situations creating getting assists and creating situations for others i think these are really crucial um areas of the pitch that we need to add and we need to add more goal scorers going into the champions league against teams who are going to be a lot more organized a lot more stronger defensively and of course in the league where next season you're going to have teams who are just sitting deep and waiting for us and just parking the bus you want to we're going to need to be more unpredictable and have more goal scoring threats all over the pitch so yeah it's just testament to that and i do like this way because obviously if you look back on how we had Aubameyang before in the past where um he wasn't someone who was contributing outside of goals and he was just there um up front waiting to score goals i mean i love i love Aubameyang in terms of everything he provided to us gave us the effort cup moment um and all the goals he scored was a great great goal scorer but you can see the difference between how we played with Aubameyang and how Arteta wants to play with these strikers who are doing more outside of goals and i think even looking at um Balogun um when he was here some of the some of the um some of the cameos he had as well he's someone again who i feel like is able to contribute and provide stuff outside of the goals and be able to drift deep and create situations because I've seen him we've seen him drift into the wide areas and create chances for others and he's got good ability on the ball in terms of dribbling and carrying the ball as well so I think these are really crucial attributes that Arteta wants for the guy who's playing up front